in this video i will talk about the topic propagation delay of our logic gate when we apply any logical input in any logical device we get the output response after a brief interval of time that means we don't get the output response at the same instant we have applied the logical input and the time delay between the output response we have obtained and the input we have applied the time difference between the output response we have obtained and the input we have applied the time delay that delay is known as propagation delay see the propagation delay is the time taken for the output of a gate to change after the input is applied if i apply any logical input at the input side we will get the output response after a certain time and that time difference is known as propagation delay our output could be logic 1 or logic 0 when our output voltage changes from logic 1 to logic 0 this time delay we will denote it with t p h l time required for the output to go from logical 1 to logical 0 state that means high high to low state and if the output changes from 0 to 1 we will denote that time delay with t p l h time required for the output to go from logical 0 to logical 1 that means low to high we can explain propagation delay using timing diagram consider this simple inverter gate with finite time delay let's say this time varying signal is applied at the input terminal of this inverter gate see from this point to this point our input is at logic 0 therefore our output should be at logic 1 from this point to this point our input has a transition from logic 0 to logic 1 therefore our output should have a transition from logic 1 to logic 0 from this point to this point our input is fixed at logic 1 therefore our output should be at logic 0 from this point to this point our input is changed from logic 1 to logic 0 therefore our output should change from logic 0 to logic 1 now let me show you how do we calculate the propagation delay from the timing diagram in the timing diagram propagation delay is calculated as the time interval between a designated point on the input pulse and the corresponding point on the output pulse propagation delay will be the time interval between a designated point on the input pulse and the corresponding point on the output pulse see propagation delay will indicate the time interval between a designated point in the input pulse and the output pulse usually the propagation delay times are indicated with 50 percent point on the pulse edges which is used as a reference let's say this is our inverter gate in the input we are applying the vi this vi is a time varying signal see from this point to this point our input is changing from logic 0 to logic 1 from this point to this point our input is changing from logic 1 to logic 0 so for the input pulse this is will be known as rising is and this is will be known as falling see from this point to this point this indicates a transition from 0 to logic 1 level this point will indicate the 50% level of this rising edge and this point will indicate the 50% of this falling edge from 1 to logic 0 as from this point to this point our input is changing from logic 0 to logic 1 after a brief interval of time our output will change its state from logic 1 to logic 0 because it is an inverter gate so from this point to this point our output will change from logic 1 to logic 0 so this edge of this output pulse will indicate the falling edge of the output see from this point to this point our input is changing from logic 1 to logic 0 uh, so our output will change from logic 0 to logic 1 so this edge of the output pulse will be known as rising is 
is okay and this point will indicate the 50 percent point of the transition from logic 0 to logic 1 or 50 percent point of this rising is okay and this point will indicate the 50 percent point of this falling is or the transition from logic 1 to logic 0 so how do we calculate this tphl see tphl is the time required for the output time required for the output to go from logical 1 to logical 0 state time required for the output to go from high state to low state see here our output is changing from high to low or logical 1 to logical 0 state so this tphl is the time interval between the 50 percent level on the input pulse and the 50 percent level on the output pulse that means the time delay between the 50 percent level of the input pulse and the 50 percent level of the output pulse when the output is changing from logical 1 to logical 0 state that will be known as tphl and what is the tplh t plh is the time required for the output to go from logical 0 to logical 1 state our output will go from logical 0 to logical 1 or low to high state see here our output is going from logical 0 to logical 1 or low to high state this is the 50 percent point in the input pulse during the falling edge and this is the 50 percent point on the output pulse during the rising edge now tplh is the time interval between the 50 percent level on the input pulse to the 50 percent level on the output pulse when the output is going from logical 0 to logical 1 state that means this interval will indicate the time delay tplh usually the value of tplh and the tphl are not equal therefore we can calculate the average propagation delay or in some book you will see this is denoted as propagation delay tp equal to tplh plus t phl divided by 2 usually in our digital logic families propagation delays are in nanosecond that means some nanosecond of time is required for the input to produce the output in a logic circuit okay that's it thank you